Welcome to Truth and Company Boxing Podcast. I'm your host, John the Truth Deoria, and tonight we got a returning guest. We got former IBF lightweight world champion, the Pittsburgh kid, Paul Spatafora, coming on tonight. And tonight we're going to talk about a book that him and an author just put together and it came out and it's on Paul's life. So if any of you guys have ever um, followed Paul's uh, career, Everybody knows it's been an up and down roller coaster for Paul. And, uh, you know, some good, some bad. And he's put it all down in the book. So if you've ever wanted to know certain things that you didn't know um, about Paul or things that you saw in the media, but you didn't hear the end result, or you just, you know, wanted to know about his fights or his upbringing or things like that, you got to run out and get this book, man. $15. You can't beat it. I mean, it's all over the internet right now. You got time to go get it before Christmas. It's called Fighting Till the End by Chris Scarnetti. You got to go get it. And the great thing is the author is actually from Pennsylvania where Paul um, was raised. Um, we're going we're gonna to bring Paul on right now. We're going to talk about the book. I'm going to show you the book. I have my own personal copy that I was just sent. I got it today in the mail just in time for the interview from Paul himself. As you can see, it is autographed to me, to John the Truth from Paul. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much, Paul. I'm going to burn it up in about two days in the weekend. But now let's get to Paul and let's get to the book. All right. How's it going, Paul? How you doing, man? Thanks for having me. Uh, I, I appreciate you guys reaching out and asking me. To thanks help for helping me. Number one, thanks for helping me. You know what I mean? It means a lot to me. So listen, um, let's get right to it, man. I just showed everybody the book. It's it's a great present, a stocking stuffer before Christmas. Um, we want them to run out. We want them to get it. I just found out um, you guys just added a new place that it's actually on Walmart.com. I know it's at Barnes & Noble. It's on Shopify. It's on Amazon.com. You guys can all run out. Get it right now while we're discussing this interview, man. Christmas present. You know, do Prime on Amazon, you'll have it by tomorrow. So let's get to this right now. Why did you decide to write a book on your life, man? Because I know you're, so, you. first of all, you're a humble guy, but a lot of your life, man, was on TV or in the newspaper. So you would think you would want to stay away from that. And now you finally wrote a book. So now you know well, you're going to get criticized on some of the books. It's okay. It's okay. Who didn't know that? Hey, listen to this. But I, I I wanted to write the book so people don't so they so they understand how, if if they have a, a like a, a, a theory about boxing like well, how come I didn't get them big fights then there there there's there that's number one that's number one number two is how the hell did he make it to fight for the world title you know what I mean how does that happen. I, to me, it's only God. Only but God. I, I, but I mean, why? Why now? Why now? At this point in your life, did you sit back and finally say, "You know what? I'm going to put a book out with this guy and let him write well, my story." Well, my my I, my son, my kids, just to let them know. You know what I mean? Just to let them know why I was doing what I was doing and what I, and what was going on. You know what I mean? Mostly for my kids. Okay, so now tell me how this all happened. Now, did you contact this author? Or did he contact you and say, "Hey, I want to write your life story," or no, did you no, find no, him? No, no. He, 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 um, contacted me with my, my, I guess, him and my trainer. They know each other. He's, he's a good guy, and um, he did an interview on me with um Sports Illustrated, and he contacted me and said he was in, interested in doing that. Okay, so you had talked to him earlier in your career than before, so uh-huh. you knew him a little bit. Yeah, yeah. He wrote a um story about me in Sports Illustrated. Well, I was fighting somebody. I forget. Uh, a, something I forget. I was with Roy there. Okay. So, and how long did this book take to write? Probably like three years, maybe more. How huh? Three, four, maybe three, four years. Okay. And for the fans that don't understand how you get 
a, a book written with an author, especially you're living out in Las Vegas. This guy lives in Pennsylvania. How did this get done? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I, I, mean, I mean, did you guys did you guys meet up at, at the various places? Did you send emails? Did you do recordings? Listen, listen, listen. No, he came yeah, to the house and he did wrong, interviews. The wrong and then he did phone yeah. interviews, and then we he would send yeah. us the chapters, and then we would read it. No, nah, but I'm saying that I he, would he read said, it how to him. Did it, how did it start? How did I get? How did that happen? No, he's asking you how have, the process was being a living baby. What are you asking? What are you asking? No, she's right. I'm asking, how did you guys finally get it together? Because you're on two different sides of the United States. So, I mean, because oh, this started back when I was, I, I just come out here. I've been out here for like a year and a half. He had like okay. chapters one through six yeah. done before he moved out yeah. here. Like, okay. So, you guys were in the same state when most of it got put together. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you got, you were still in Pennsylvania then. So, you did do some recordings. You did, you did guys meet up. You did send like uh, he sent some of the the pages to you. You read them over, things like that. So you did it, it. That's why it took three years. I mean, you know, a lot of meeting times, a lot of hours put into it. I I, I ain't a book writer. Oh, that's what <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm a boss. Okay, couldn't. so I got I gotta ask you though. Did he come up with the name, or did you come up with this name for the book? I have no idea. I have listen. I have no. I don't know. He came up with the name. We sent him all the pictures. I don't know. Paul wasn't really hands on, other than telling his yeah. story, and then I would read it to him, and he would edit it. Because Paul's really self cautious about the book. Okay. What I mean, because I, I mean, to be honest, I what wanted it named. I wanted it named on, the Pittsburgh Kid. Hold on, hold on. You don't like self, talking about it. What is self self cautious? Like, you're shy about it. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. yeah. So I was. I don't more, like. You know what I mean? Because people might take it the wrong way. Motherfucker, you ain't never lived my think. life. Yeah, who cares? What yeah, think. but I'm saying though, but if you put the judgment on somebody, huh? Huh? Yeah, do the dumb shit. You feel what I'm saying? And listen, listen. I'm Nadine. Look, listen. There's nothing gonna stop me from doing something I need to do to get my family and my life right. Well, nothing, right nothing. Now. That's why I'm here right now. That's why I'm doing the right. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing right now. You think I'm doing All right, this for all right Paul. Hey, so, okay. So I was just curious because I was just wondering why it wasn't called the Pittsburgh kid. You know what I mean? Cause I ain't the Pittsburgh kid. You know, I'm not the Pittsburgh kid. <laughs> Billy calls the Pittsburgh kid. I'm PK Pacora. Pittsburgh. No, nah, you know, I'm not the Pittsburgh kid. I'm being serious. I'm PK Pacor. I'm dead ass serious. I'm Billy Billy Collins, the Pittsburgh kid. But you know, and 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 they, but they called me the Pittsburgh kid. But the real thing about it, I'm not the Pittsburgh kid. Well, I know that, but they use that as your nickname for a long yeah, time. Right, so right, right, I was wondering yeah. why they just yeah, didn't right, name right, the book. Someone that. who don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so okay. Did writing the book bring up a lot of emotions and and, yeah. and memories for you? Yeah, yeah. Was there certain parts that were just like too hard to write that you just left out? Or I mean, I didn't write. I didn't write it. But you know, when you, when you talk about it to somebody, you're telling somebody your story. They ask you questions. That's you. That's you. You know how that is. Yeah, it brings up emotions that you you've put away down for years that you probably you never thought you'd have to bring that. up again. You never, ever, 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 ever thought you was really like that. Right? Yeah. You never think he's really like that. Okay, so now I want to get to the point where some people might not know how Roy Jones and you are connected. So talk to me about why Roy Jones oh, Jr. Man, Roy, and, and, Roy. and Tommy, how do you say Tommy's last name? Tommy and Kello. Kelly. Ian Kelly. Yeah, yeah, Ian Kello. So yeah, tell me uh, why those two guys wrote well, the foreword. Well, Tommy and Kello was with me my whole life. He basically made me the, the fighter I was. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he was with he he worked with Roy and Roy Roy got Roy, at the end of my career. Roy came to, and and saved my life. Like what's up? You out? Hey. Do the right thing. Hey, Roy, Roy came and basically said, came to the rehab and all that, signed me for some fights. Everything that he said he was going to do for me, like he really did it. 
You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you owe, you owe Roy Jones a lot then, is what you're saying. I mean, he did everything that he said he was going to do. I, I did my part, and he did his part. My part was... That's what happens when you, when you're, when you, no, I, I owe my, I owe life. Listen, that's when you get, you're gambling with a fighter. You hear me? Are you listening? Yeah. So, no, I, I gave it all, my all, and I didn't come through. He, he came through with every single thing he ever said. You know what I mean? But I mean, how did you decide to let those two I didn't guys come through because I lost. I lost. I lost the fight. No, but how did you decide that you wanted Roy Jones and Tommy to, to, to write the forwards for the book? Well, I don't know nothing about that. I don't know nothing about no deciding. I didn't decide none of that. I guess, I guess they did that. I don't okay. know nothing about that. Okay, so Chris decided that. I guess. So, yeah, whoever, okay. whoever did that. I don't okay. know. All I know is I know that, uh, that Roy Jones is a, is a major part of my life. Okay, so... Tell me, what, what do you want your boxing Tommy fans? And Tommy and Kello, listen to this. Roy Jones is a major part of my life. Tommy and Kello, if it wasn't for Tommy and Kello, I don't think there would be a false back. Okay. So tell me, what do you want your boxing fans to get out of when they read this book about you? Never quit. Never give up. You can't give up. <laughs> you can't. Okay. You cannot give up. So it gets, let, bad. it gets bad. And listen, look, listen. And no matter what you have to do, if you're not breaking, if you say you're not breaking the law, so say you have to live your uh, look. You got to do whatever you have to do to get whatever you have to get in life. There's nothing else to say about that. You, does that make sense? Yep. You got to do whatever you have to do to get whatever you have to get. And, and it is what it is. Everybody's perspective is different about what they're going to do, what they won't do, and what they, you know what I mean? I'm going to tell you that I love, I love, I love, I love boxing. I love boxing. So I'm going to do whatever I have to do to make sure I box. Okay. With the books, basically the book, that's what the book says. Like that type and, and that's like today I decided to wear your shirt that you sent me, but it's on backwards because I want people to see the emblem of Paul Spence. I was the one that told you it was all backwards. <laughs> I know, but I want to wear it backwards so that people can see the emblem for you. So so I'm willing to come on my podcast yeah. and wear a Paul Spadafora t-shirt backwards that's just to promote up. you. That's what's up. Good luck, man. Thank you so much. So so listen, have you now I know you read pages and I know you went over the book when everything was being put together, but have no, you actually no. yeah, but no. have you sat down and actually read the book since no. it's been printed? No. No, I don't read. Okay. My girl my girl will have to read it to me, and I need to like no. I forgot. Yeah, but, I forgot. <laughs> she could read it to you at night in bed like a bedtime story. Listen, listen, it's my life. So it's like I'm gonna play the need, audio. Why book. Do I, I'm why? gonna play the audio book no, for him because I specifically no, made him do an audio book for Paul so he but would maybe, maybe. listen to why his do book. I gotta read my book. You said you wanted to my listen life. to it, but you said you wanted <laughs> well, to listen it's to it. It's my life. It's my life. You still said you wanted to listen to <laughs> I don't care what's whatever I trust, Chris. The fuck. He's okay, so so let me ask, so let me ask you this, Paul. Have you heard have you heard any of the feedback on the book yet? Have you heard? No, any? I don't. I don't pay attention. I'm always in the gym and boxing. So. Okay, well, well, listen. I I know some. I know some of the reviews. I've read about twenty reviews already on your book. I'm gonna read you a few of them towards the end of the interview. Okay. Are they good? Yeah, they're good. They're all good. Thank God. I was actually shocked. It was already that many reviews out on it because yeah, it just came cool. out a month ago. That's cool. That that's good. That makes me happy. So so listen. Um, I wanna um. So now, do you do you do you plan on doing any book signings in Las Vegas, or going back to Pennsylvania and doing any book signings so people can meet you and sign the books? My girl, whatever. I, I, I'm hey, trying. To, we're I'm, trying to do as many collaborations here, 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 and set up here, here, things here. as we go. Listen though, here's, we're trying here. to set something up with the History Museum. 
Yeah, but I'm I I, I have a, I'm trying to I'm trying to get fighter box. I'm trying and to box. at our friend's boxing be store, around the, box. the pro last store here up here in Majid's store. He wants he said you could do a signing up there. So eventually, I'm trying to box. So in order for me to box with these kids and make these kids box, I got to be here all the time. So. It's hard for me to go travel and do this. Well, no, that. but I mean, obviously, you guys want to promote the book. You want to sell the book. I thought going back to Pennsylvania and doing a book signing we, would be huge. Well, we were in Pittsburgh and we did some collabs with like different Pittsburgh. Um, but I was in, people. I was in there working with the kids. They, they, they he was on the too. radio. He was they on the made, news. They made it to the uh, Olympic trials. They lost. They made the one, okay. one two, four, yeah. Well, hopefully, hopefully you'll get time to do a book signing in Las Vegas and then go back to a gym or something in Pittsburgh and be able to do one there. Because I think your fans would line up for that, to get a book really? signed by you in person in Pittsburgh. I don't know. You, you better bring a whole box. You better bring lots and lots of boxes of books. Think? Oh, yeah, in Pittsburgh? Are you kidding me? Why would they not line up <laughs> to get an autographed book? I have no idea. <laughs> Man, you are too humble, dude. You are too humble. Seriously, I have no idea. All right, so let me ask you something, okay? We just discussed a little bit how people can get the books before Christmas, but what if somebody is a huge fan and they want a signed book from you? How can they get a signed book? On My girl, what? On, on Shopify. In your bio on Instagram. On, on Shopify and my bio on, on Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. Okay. Your Instagram is Paul's Battle for Official. Okay. And then, so I heard Nadine talking earlier about the photos, and I was going to ask about that. How you guys decided what photos to put in we the We just book? sent, like, a bunch of pictures, and then they just picked them, and we just looked over them and said, that's fine. Because we have so many pictures throughout the years. And that's what I figured, is there's so many pictures. How could you narrow it down yeah. to just... They like definitely people? wanted, like, Paul's mom and dad in there. You know, they definitely wanted like any kid pictures of Paul. They wanted some with like his brother and stuff like that. So, hey, Nadine, you can feel, you know, if you want to jump in the frame, you can jump in the frame. I don't want Paul's fans thinking that he's got an invisible wife. She's talking in the background and nobody gets to see her. Speaking hey, man, of that, everybody's all mad. I hey, did the wrong thing. She's with, I married her. Speaking Listen, of yeah, speaking of that, a lot of your fans might not fans. know this. He's a piece of shit. Listen, anything could happen to anybody. Don't act fucking crazy like it. I was in the penitentiary. People did accidents happen, dog. That's a fucking accident. That's not she's my wife now. And listen, let's talk about that because a lot of the fans might not be aware of that. This just happened in the last few months. You guys went over to Italy and actually finally got married. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was so nice. We were over there for like a month. We went to Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. I took him to the red light district for his uh, bachelor mm -hmm. party. I know. Hey, I got to bring this up because this shows like you this how cool. Hey. I'm like, where did he go? They said it's only a 20 minute situation. So I just kept thinking mm -hmm. like, did he go do it? Did he not? Did you? Do what? You know what? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Hey, I got to bring this up because I want the fans to realize how cool Paul is. I call you. I didn't even know you're in Italy. Nadine answers the phone, gives it to Paul. I start talking. You just thinking you're hanging out in Vegas and you're like, yeah, what's up, man? And you're like, I'm over in Italy getting married right now. I'm like, dude, I can hang up the phone. You're like, no, that's cool. I can talk. Well, we were there that for was... like a month. So it was like, we were just there. And like every couple of days I was, we were off to like a different location and Paul like he, he kind of hated the driving part, but once he once I got there, it was yeah, good. he loved it. Every place it, was new. even it, Rome. It, we did Rome least, the last it, day, it, and he was like, "Why didn't you nice. bring me here?" <laughs> <laughs> but it, but I mean, it, it was so cool that I called and I had no idea you guys were in Italy getting married, and Paul's just willing to sit there and talk on the phone to me, and I'm like, "Dude, enjoy your vacation. You're in Italy. You're getting married." He's like, "No, I can talk, man. It's cool." I was like, "All right." So anyways, listen, I want to get back to the book. I, I think this is an important part because I, I want fans to understand what this means when they open up the book because I don't completely understand it and I want the fans to understand it. So when you you dedicated the book to your son, Jacob. Yeah, and that's says, the author's um, dedication. Oh, okay. That's what I was wondering because I was like, does Paul have a son named yeah, Jacob? Yeah, that's the Okay, author. so he, he did. Okay, so what happened with his son? Do you know? I do not know. I'm going to ask him that. Okay, because it says Jacob who fought bravely to the end. Yeah. 
Damn, so I don't. Th- okay, so that that's a mystery that we'll have to find out through yeah. the author. Okay, I don't know because I I just seen it when everybody else did when the book came. So out. can we talk? Or I don't want to give away too much of the book because I want everybody to go out and buy it. But can we just talk about a few little tidbits in the book? Sure. What do you mean by that? Just some little couple little stories that are in the book that pe- that are going to draw people to want to go and read the book. I mean, it definitely talks about the night when I got shot. Yeah, I know. I wasn't trying to bring that up. I already saw that. That's They'll find good. that out when they read it. Everybody already saw it. That's it. That's all you want to say. But there's so many you names in the book. I, there's, I want, uh, there's so many big names in the book. I skimmed the book because I only got it today. But, I mean, I saw so many big-name fighters in the book. Jesse Reed, your trainer's in there. I mean, you got um, Camacho's in there. Israel Cardona's in there. Um who else you got in there? You got Tommy's in there. Um, your son's in there. You talk about your son. You talk about different fights. There's so many big names in that book. It's not just a boxing book, even though. Hey, you know what? I want person. you. I want you to go. To, it could be for anybody if you have addiction on, issues, on, if you have on, mental on, health stop. issues. Yeah. If, what? Hey, what? To, there's a guy. I don't know if his name's in there, but I'm gonna tell you his name because I'm allowed to tell you his name. His name is Joe Dockerty. Okay. If you live he's with a, a child listen, predator. Listen. He's a football, baseball, basketball. If he, if there's anybody on, listen, 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 Paul. listen. If there's understand. any youth going around, the young kids, you know what I'm saying? If he's the head of it, you know what I mean? He got 20. I think he penetrated a couple oh, of people. Okay. No, I'm just I, what what I'm just telling you what time. But it is. he did go to jail for. So yeah, 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 that's a very good. So there's that's different a, things that, in there. That's a, like a but that's good. that's what I mean. It's about there's there's a, there's life. about there's it's about family. Life. Yeah, there's about but there's how about brother relationships in there, Paul. Listen, right. Listen, how much do you want it? How much do you want it? You ain't got shit. You tell me how much you want. It. I know how much I wanted it. I got it. I don't care. I fucked it up, but I got it. When that, you, no matter what anybody can say, bro, you can't say nothing about me. I can fight. I came from nothing. I made. I don't care. It don't matter. I can fight. I promise but, you. But listen, I want to talk about some of the stuff in the book so that we draw attention to people wanting to read your book. There's brother relationships in there between you and your brother Harry. I mean, there's family issues. There's drug issues. There's gun issues. There's police issues. There's you, you, you beating all of it and winning yeah. the world title. Hell. There's, there's people talking about how they always talk about you and Mayweather. Well, that that discusses why you and Mayweather didn't end up fighting yeah. about the sparring yeah. situation, right. the money situation, all that. Yeah. If you guys, if you guys want to know more about Paul, why he never fought up. Mayweather, yeah. you got to yeah. go read this book. You got to read the book on how he went through the addictions. His, his brother, who was a fighter. Hey, yeah, about, if about, anybody oh. watched the movie Southpaw, and I could say this because I would love for Harvey to sue me, actually. But if anybody watched the movie Southpaw, it is loosely based on uh, like what happened to us and Paul. So <coughs> at the end of the day, if you like the movie I mean, Southpaw, you should definitely buy this book because we didn't make one dollar off the movie Southpaw, and we were the ones That's affected. Cool. So. Yeah, I mean, as as crazy the ups and downs you've had with your life, I have no idea how this author fit all that into about two hundred pages. Yeah, <laughs> because it's impossible. <laughs> so, listen, I want you to tell me though, why should fans run out and buy this book, Paul? Well, if you have a kid that struggles struggles with addiction and mental health, and has is an athlete. That's a guaranteed one to get that one. You know what I'm saying? If you have coaches, listen, that might not know that when it's time to chill, when it's time not to, that's a good one. You know what I'm saying? If you have trainers that are teaching guys uh, things that nobody uh, teaches no more, that's a good one. Because PK taught me things that, like, you know what I mean? And and and, and talk about who P, PK is. So when they, re, you know, if they haven't PK read the book not, yet. I'm a trainer. What's his point? PK Pacor, Charles Pacor. And and he's a huge part of your career and your life, well, right? He, he, yeah, he's the one that started me boxing. Okay. So has there been, 
I guess I could ask Nadine this question because, like you said, Paul, you really don't know. Has there been any negative things come back out, out of anybody I that's was, been I in the know. book that, that doesn't you know, want to? Anything people are mad they're not in a book, and yeah, that wasn't like, our fault. Like, 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 there's like, certain listen, things listen we couldn't this. do. Like, look, look at this. My, my be- one of my best friends, Sharon Young and Darnell Young, they're my favorite people on earth. They took care of me when I was in the projects. had nowhere to go. They always looked out for me. They always made sure I was okay. They always looked out. I I came to them. I came to them. I don't understand why. But I, I think he thought it would be just but too anyway, confusing for the reader. Yeah, and he said it's not a. Uh, I, I didn't read the not, book, so I don't know. This is how he described but it to no, me. Listen, right? listen. He described it to me that this is not a. Uh, what is it? A yearbook of Paul's career. It's just but facts I'm saying, in his life. But in, in his but, life. But, in but between. this is. But sure, but if it I, wasn't for me going getting Darnell and Young, Darnell and Sharon to take fly me to uh to the uh. The Ram fight. Mm-hmm. I would never have had managers. I, I would have still that. been in the hood but with then, no money, but, but nothing. He, he had a word, a about? word uh, thing that he was trying to keep, like a word, so many words per chapter. Yeah. And he um, also said that we could talk about stuff like that on podcasts or like whoever we didn't mention. Like I don't think Rick uh, Grazier, how you say his name? Glazier. Glazier was in Paul's book, and that's really sad. Yeah, I let's bring let's bring that right. up. Let's bring that up because I know Rick. What you know? How hey, Rick, Rick, I am Rick, so Rick, sorry about Rick that. Is my, Rick, Rick, yeah. I, I don't know. Bro. I got to the book at like chapter six, and I read it to Paul, and I wasn't even thinking of know. certain things. Yeah, but let's, I wasn't around at certain points of his life. I don't know. But but, but talk to me about Rick, so that pe- so the fans understand what what Rick, 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 Rick was in your Rick, life. Listen, Rick. Rick is the probably the best matchmaker in the game. I mean, if I if if anybody's looking for a match, I mean, if I'm gonna match, you know, what I'm saying he's he knows what he's doing. He's the best. And so, what effect did he have on your career, though? Well, he he got me he got me my my fights that would give me a chance to fight for the world title. He put me in the ring with with Cardona, and that that in order to go into the ring to Cardona, because Shane Mosley, Mosley moved up to 147. <laughs> So uh, when Mosley moved up, it made they I'm I'm gonna write the number two or three or some shit, and then Cardona was it was the uh, man like we had to do a mandatory thing. So a lot of people in boxing that are the fans they don't know that that was because of Rick Laser that you got that title fight fight right? No, they don't know that. No, they okay. don't. Well, I'm glad that we cleared that up so that Rick gets the credit he deserves. Then he deserves way more credit than that. He, he's Rick's the best. He's the best. I keep waiting for him to send me a fighter, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so listen. Eventually, eventually, how would you feel about trying to hey, turn Rich, this book into best, a movie? Toe, listen, listen. The one of the him. best. Listen, I'm not going to say you can't say I'm, you know, but I'm a very careful, cautious, and safe. You know what I mean? With the mentality of a Dago. You feel me? So send me your fighter. All right, what's okay. up? Let me ask you this. What happens eventually if they come to you and they want to turn this book into a movie? Would you like your life story turned into a movie? Um, it, I, I definitely would because of what the Southpaw did. And that that was that was bad. I mean, I, I don't care if people don't know. That's I like know. getting raped without no, getting I raped. Know. Here's the, I literally tell it, people Hardy Weinstein raped me without, funny. but not no. physically. She thinks it's funny. I'm I in the rehab. A- listen, I'm in the. Listen to me, please listen. I'm in the rehab for a year. Are you listening? Yes. How many people you know in the rehab for a year? I ain't got no insurance. Listen, 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 listen. You're flying me to go to the Poconos to meet with the uh, people that are right bo- so I can tell my story. Now, hold on. Not only that, you build a boxing gym in the rehab. I met, I met, that's how I met Roy Tom with, with, with Tommy. I met Roy with Tommy. I had the Buddy McGirt was coming to train me in the rehab. It did Make, come on, man! It don't make. Come on, and then and then and then I I'm not gonna. I, Roy said you can't train out of the rehab. You got to go train like a real fighter. You got to go to camp and shit like that. You know what I mean? Makes sense, right? Yeah. And and, and then and they, made they made that made inspirational. Okay, then though. they made the inspirational okay, video. Though. If you Google Paul Spadafore inspirational video, he's running up these steps. Jake Gyllenhaal runs up the same steps. The same way, and then Paul works Yo, out listen in to the this. video no. for his redemption listen, comeback. No, listen and then Jake Jones no, has his comeback stop, in the same no, gym. You can't stop, make stop, it up. Stop, stop, stop. 
uh, my boy Desmond, he, my boy Desmond sent me, he, met, uh, he took me down Pittsburgh to meet, to meet up with uh, Jay Chill and I was, I was training in buses. And as soon as Jay shook my hand, you know what he said to me? I know you more than you know yourself. Who says that? That's crazy. That's crazy. We have to say in the video, Paul. It's crazy. It's crazy. So listen, can I? I know you haven't read the book, Paul. I know you haven't read the book. Can I read you something that Roy Jones said in the book? I yeah. want the fa I want the fans to hear this because I thought this Roy was knows. really good. Roy, yeah, Roy I think this. Is, I think this is important. The truth. <laughs> well, I know, but I, I I think this is important that the fans hear this Roy and then they're going to want to read the book. So this is what Roy Jones Jr. said as part of your foreword in your book. He said, I had known about Paul Spadafora and watched him for a very from afar for a long time. Paul was one of the best defensive fighters I have ever seen. That's quoted from Roy Jones Jr., one of the best in the game, saying that you are one of the best defensive fighters he has ever seen. That's huge to say that. <laughs> So now another thing that Roy Jones says is he says, I think Paul can be a successful trainer because he's one of a kind. How many white guys do you see that have had the kind of defense presence about them? He's very unique and his ring IQ is really high. That's huge, dude, for Roy Jones to say that. Argue, 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 you could argue maybe the best fighter ever. I mean, how many people do we, besides Floyd, you got to give Floyd his props. How many people we know that stayed pound for pound for decades? Yeah, but we're not going to give Floyd his props because he wouldn't get in the ring with you. So he ain't getting it's no damn props. Good. It's all good, you know what I mean? It's cool. It talks about that too, how it affected Paul each of the times that didn't pan out. It don't affect me no more. So I know. Listen. Hey, I listen. Hey, Paul, hey, I want to get credit if he does want to do listen, an expedition. Listen. That's the only one it I'm don't affect me no more, but I promise you, it, I'm give down. I'm down for six. I'll, if you give me six weeks, I'll go four weeks. As a matter of fact, fuck, you give me two weeks. Two weeks. So give listen, all right. So before we get to the end of this interview and wrap it up and and try to sell the book a little bit, I want to give you some of your reviews on this book. Are you are you ready for them? Yeah. Okay, this is off of Amazon right now. I'm gonna give you um. So this book is amazing. It tells the true story of fighting inside and outside the ring. It makes you cry for the little boy who's looking for love and acceptance. You cry for the man who has to fight every obstacle that gets in his way. It's a tearjerker for sure. So that's one. That's one. Okay. The next one. Paul, the Pittsburgh kid spatafora, frequented my father's restaurant back during his fighting days. He was always kind, respectful, and quiet coming in to celebrate all of his wins. This story is a heartbreaking tale of what happens when addiction struggles and a traumatic childhood loom. I wish Paul all the luck at keeping his life on the right track during this next chapter. Congratulations to all. So that's from somebody out of your hometown, apparently, that you used to hang out in the restaurant. So here's one more good review. Being from the same hometown as Paul Spatafora, I had to buy this book. Extremely well-written and very factual. High praise to the author who leaves no stone unturned. Excellent book. No line, bro. We'll so just... those, are just, those are just three that I picked out of at least 20 already on Amazon. And then that's not even other pages that probably have reviews on, um, you know, Shopify and Barnes & Noble and Walmart.com. I just wanted to give you some of the reviews to let you know that your book is flourishing out there, man. People are loving it. What does that mean, though? As far as what? What do the reviews mean? Like, it means that you'll that get that to means. reach and help more people. That's yeah. what you want to do. Like, like, would they be telling that to the? To, I want, I want it told to the juvenile delinquent. I know we want to donate books to the juvenile delinquent center. <laughs> hey, listen, listen. I want the. I want the young kids that are getting, listen, because the mindset they have to understand is your perspective in life. You have to, here's what you need to understand. <laughs> you got to do what you have to do to get what you got to get. I think we just discovered our first book signing is going to be at the Children's Youth Center in Vegas. That's so listen, Paul, be, Paul, I want to wrap this up. So I got one more thing to say, and then we're going to promote the book one more time, okay? So I want people to run out, get this book before Christmas, 
But I want to say one thing that Paul actually stated in this book for people to, because I think this wraps up your whole life, dude. I read this paragraph and this, it says, after pondering his past, Paul laughs and points to the sky. At the end of the day, I'm just trying to go up there, he says, he adds. I've been stressed for as long as I can remember, dog. I just want to get up there by doing the right thing. Uh, I mean, and that and that says it right there, man. You just want to go where you belong, up to heaven, man, by doing the right thing. Paradise, yeah, some, yeah. So listen, I've had I've enjoyed having you come on the show again, Thanks promote so your book. Like I said once again, everybody, see it right here. You can get it Shopify, Walmart.com, Barnes and Noble, Amazon.com. Fifteen dollars, man. Stocking stuffer, Christmas present, or if you're just a true boxing fan and you love Paul Spatafora, man, go out and buy it today. You can get it with Prime shipping in one day, man. And like I said, if, if Paul will even sign it for you if you go through what does he got to go through Shopify. Shopify, Shopify, and you can get a signed Amazon copy. Instagram. Is Chris coming? And we definitely want to thank Chris. Uh, how do you say Chris's last name? Gernotti. Chris Gernotti for writing this book. with my boy. Make sure you guys give Chris Gernotti all the credit for writing this book, man. He put in a lot of hours, a lot of time. Hey, thank you, thank you. I got. I'm getting ready to go work with my fighter right now. All right, thank you very much. All right, and with that, the truth has spoken. He can't sit still for that long. All That's right, all thank right. you, John. Thank you. All right, have a good night. All right, you too. Bye.